OK, so in the FA Cup quarterfinal today between Sheffield United and Blackburn Rovers, it's finished 3-2 to Sheffield United. Um, it could have been 3-2 to Blackburn. Uh, both sides missed a hat for the chances. Very entertaining game. And as a Blackburn fan, I am obviously disappointed. But I feel that, hey, we've got to focus on our promotion push. Sheffield United, their form in the league has not been as good as Blackburn's form in the league in recent weeks. Um, it's getting very, very tense and tight. Um, from second to about tenth in the league, there are so many sides trying to go for the playoff places and promotion, automatic promotion spot behind Burnley. Um, this is a nice welcome distraction with the pressures off a little bit, um, and you could see that the sides were a bit more open than in recent league games. Uh, there was, it was an end-to-end -end game. The swings of momentum were, were crazy. There was no one team in sustained possession with sustained dominance throughout this game. Hence, why the leads changed a couple of times. Blackburn were ahead twice. Sheffield United come back from behind twice, then take the lead. The lead changes, the momentum swings. I will say this as a Blackburn fan, the curse of the live TV game. You guys know what I'm talking about. This has happened for quite some time. Doesn't matter what cup competition or league game it is. If we're live on TV, we generally go on to lose. It's, it's a curse. But Blackburn take the lead first. The first 20 minutes was very, very open. The momentum swings were there. Blackburn started strongly. Then Sheffield United come back. Blackburn have an attack. Gallagher with a shot uh, in the box to turn on a shot. And Jack Robinson, the ball has struck his hand. Now, as I say, and this is where I've been very, very critical of VAR in the sense that the FA have been a bit pick and mix with what grounds get the VAR. If this was the previous round, let's say Sheffield United playing Blackburn in the previous round, for example, it's obviously an all-championship clash, there's no VAR. Because it's the quarterfinal onwards, there's VAR. So, they, I don't think they can cherry-pick like that going forward. Um, what we've seen in the FA Cup is the Premier League clubs, if they're at home from the third round onwards, get VAR. But suddenly in the quarterfinal, two championship sides playing each other and there's VAR, where we haven't had that in the previous rounds. That cherry picking has got to stop. Um, it, you can't have it at some games and not others in the same competition because it's not a level playing field, regardless of the level you are in the football pyramid playing. Um, because that decision wasn't given in real time by the officials. And it is a 50-50 in the sense of pre-VAR era, half the time that isn't given. Um, Half the time it is given. I think they also need to tighten up the handball rule, where if the ball strikes your hand, um, if you're an attacker, for example, it's an indirect free kick out the box. And if you're a defender in the box, it's a penalty. There's no accidental or deliberate. Because if that is, an, if that is classed as an accidental handball, by the letter of the law, that should be an indirect free kick, not a penalty. So there's, and no, we hardly ever see any you know, indirect free kicks in the box anymore, where all the defenders are on the line and you've got to roll the, you've got to pass the ball to another attacker to shoot. Technically, I would say that's an accidental handball, that's not deliberate. But with the way the interpretation of handball is in the box these days, uh, it's a penalty. So Barrett and Diaz has lost the penalty in 21 minutes. Blackburn have. have taking advantage of their swinging momentum. It's not to last. Um, Sheffield United, within a few minutes down the other end, they've had a swinging momentum and possession. Max Lowe has a, a, a speculator from outside the box. Sam Gallagher, that's, uh, this, is why you sh this is dangerous when you bring forwards back to defend set plays like crosses and free like corners and free kicks. He half-heartedly tries to block that with his leg and he directs it into the back of the net. If he lets that go past, it's, it's, it's nullified. The threat's nullified. So it's a, technically it's a Sam Gallagher own goal on 28 minutes. The rest of the first half is very entertaining. It's very open. Both sides are missing chances and creating chances. Both goalkeepers are pulling off saves. And there's some near misses as well. Um, it could have been a much higher scoreline. There could be more goals scored. This was a very entertaining game. It's one all at half time. And I think that is about a fair reflection on how the first half was played out. Uh, both, both the first two goals, you know, on another day, it's nil-nil at half time. Um, and if that's a championship uh, league game or the previous round in the FA Cup, that penalty isn't given because there's no VAR, it's play on. Whether that's right or wrong is another 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 thing, and we can debate the pros and cons of VAR and its implementation and the, the mistakes it's made. Now, I will say this, Jack Robinson is lucky. He got a yellow for the penalty incident in 21 minutes. He is lucky later on in the first half. There was a challenge outside the box uh, where he, he brings down one of the Blackburn players. It is a tackle from behind. It's a, it's a poorly timed challenge. Um, I think that, if that's a lead game he's sent uh, with all he's sent off. Um, no booking on the challenge. Then what's the point of VAR? Because 
we've seen with VAR before, they can upgrade uh, a booking or a, or, de- or downgrade a send off. If you so, that's another one. So yeah, Sheffield United lucky to have eleven players still on the field. That's half time. Second half, much the same as the first. The swings in momentum are there now. The Sammy Sam uh, Samojic goal comes from a turnover in midfield from Sheffield United. They're trying to play out. They lose the ball. Couple of passes later, uh, Samojic. Um, didn't have his best game, but he slots it past the goalkeeper. It's 2-1, and that's from 60 minutes. So that momentum swing again. And for a brief about 5-10 five, five, minutes, Sheffield United looked a little bit wobbly. Uh, they looked like they could concede a third. We missed some more chances. As a Blackburn fan, this is frustrating. Uh, Gallagher and Barrett and Diaz were causing all sorts of problems up front. Sheffield United weren't nullifying that threat very effectively. And there's a, there's a, a couple of missed chances, which have proven crucial because... McBurney's goal is brilliant on 80 minutes. It's a fabulous equaliser. Um, he, he pressure moment. Uh, and Billy Sharp is in the background. So Billy, I'm surprised Billy Sharp didn't get on the uh, goal scorer sheet, to be honest. Uh, he's, he's a poacher running in at the back post. But that's on 80 minutes. And suddenly the momentum swung the other way. Uh, Doyle gets his goal right on the stroke of full time uh, in added time uh, on 90 minutes. We're just in, into the added time. So Blackburn have let the lead slip twice. So Blackburn's game management wasn't great today. But Sheffield United had to come from behind several times. So they were chasing the game at various points. Then they get that momentum swing. They 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 weathered the wobbly spell after the Smojic goal. It takes them about five ten minutes to settle again. When when they were vulnerable, Blackburn did not. We did not take our opportunities. Missed a few few chances to make it. 3-1 and possibly 4-1 hypothetically it stays 2-1 so McBurney and Doyle um, snatch snatch the goals there and on on and it is frustrating that obviously we still haven't had a trip to Wembley since Jack Walker was alive which is so frustrating because our League Cup final win was at Cardiff and it would have been great but we have an opportunity being in a playoff spot to, to make the playoff final. So there could still be a trip to Wembley for Blackburn fans. Sheffield United go to Wembley in the FA Cup semi-final. They may end up in, in the playoffs rather than the automatic promotion space in second place. It is getting very, very tight in the championship at the top end. Uh, but on balance, I think 3-2 is a fair result to either side. Um, I'm not disappointed with how Blackburn played an attack. I'm disappointed with our game management and... and uh, controlling that midfield area, the midfield battle. Uh, Sheffield United, I think they rode their luck at times as well. I think, as fans, they've obviously got to be happy with the win. Um, but the management team and, and, and uh, the coaching staff, will there'll, there'll be some concerns there with how open they were. And considering how their form has been a bit wobbly lately, nice distraction. Can they take what they've learned from this game back into the league and solidify their second, uh, second place? And Blackburn, now we haven't got the distraction of extra games, we can now focus on our league form, possibly trying to nick that second automatic promotions place, which we were in before Christmas, before we decided to stop playing for a month. So, fun game. Not the outcome I wanted as, as, as a fan, but as someone who's just breaking this down, I think a 3-2 is a fair result. I think possibly Sheffield United slightly edged it uh, in those pressure moments. And Blackburn, well, I'm not disappointed with how we created and attacked. Uh, missed opportunities have proven crucial. Um, so it's, it's back to the daily grind of the league. If that's a league game, I think it's a tighter affair, much more cagey. Um, but there we go. Thank you very much for watching. Place your thoughts in the comment section below and I'll have some more content for you very, very soon.